What is up, lovely people? So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A, first of many, but I don't have any questions from you guys yet because I have not asked, but I will put that up on Twitter ASAP so I can get questions from you guys. Uh, please let me know what you guys want to know about me, the boys, anything you're interested in or curious about, and I'll get to you. But for today, I'm just going to... I searched up 10 questions online and I found questions that I want to answer today so I'm going to do that. So today is just me. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy. These are going to be 10 questions that might get kind of personal but I hope you enjoy. Let's get to it. Question number one. If you didn't have to sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Make good music to improve my dance skills and become a better performer and just go on a lot of vacations. I wish I could take that extra time and like save it for like, you know, keep it in my back pocket and when I need that time to take it out, use it. Then I think I could use it well on vacation because I want to visit as many countries as I can. Question number two. What would your perfect room look like? I want a hammock in my room because I want to be... Oh, I just wanted to say hammock and who wouldn't want a hammock in their room? Question number three. What job would you be terrible at? Mm, I would be a terrible chef. I am very bad at cooking. I'm very bad with proportions. Um, please do not trust me with your food. Kind of why I was a surfer during because I cannot cook. And I would also be a bad drawer. So anything to do with drawing, designing, not my thing. Yes. Leave those things to Kevin. He's amazing at both those things. I was just playing my guitar. Question number four. What would be the most amazing adventure to go on? I would really enjoy going ski, oh, ski diving, skydiving or bungee jumping with all the members. Um, that would be the loudest and craziest adventure I think we could have because there'd be people screaming from horror, screaming from excitement, laughing at the people screaming, and then uh, those people just being quiet, getting ready to jump. Um, and I feel like it would make a very fun video as well as a fun adventure. And also if the 12 of us went on a cruise, I think that'd be fun. It'd be like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody on deck. We'd be like, not be, we'd have like, no one to control us and we'd be going crazy. Yeah. Mm. Question five. What takes too much of your time? So overthinking and over worrying and yeah, those two things take up the most of my time. Oh, and sleep. Okay, I'm done with the props. I just thought you guys would be getting bored, so I started finding random stuff to include. But I'm going to stop with that. On to the next question. Question number six. What's the farthest you've been from home? I will go with Korea because it's very far away from home. From Toronto. And it's also the longest period of time I've been away from home. Three years and counting. The most before that was also in Korea when I went on vacation for like a month. Other than that, it's always been weeks or like two weeks, one week, a couple days. So, yeah. Question number seven. What's the best way to start the day? For me, I recently gotten into yoga. And it's really changed how my day is because I usually have a tense body. I have tense muscles because of all the physical activity I do. 
and just being able to stretch it out in the morning and just relaxing my body it really makes me feel more comfortable throughout the day right now it's nighttime but i'm still very relaxed my muscles are like you know they're stretched out they good question eight where is the most relaxing place you've been sweet and short switzerland switzerland is so beautiful and i spent a day there and it was the most relaxing thing i've ever done Question number nine, who inspires you to be better? I have different people that inspire me depending on the topic. So, you know, people who inspire me to be a better person. My mom, my dad, my brother, my grandma, etc. Um, and, you know, to be a better dancer, I have Q. He inspires me to be a better dancer. He always... You know, he's always there teaching us and he's just a great performer, dancer, and I hope one day I can dance like him. And then there's also dancers that I watch on YouTube, but there's these two that I keep going back to, Sean Liu and Bailey Sock. Those two are very young, but through their dance, they really share their story. Um, you can see how much fun they're having. You can see their professionalism at such a young age and they're just so good. So. Yes, shout out to those two for being an inspiration. Okay, last question number 10. What risks are worth taking? In my opinion, risks that are within your reach are worth taking because um, I think it's important to take risks sometimes to get to where you want to, to get to where you need to. I have a quote that I really like. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I think you can use that in this situation. If you decide not to take any risks, um, you may be moving slowly towards your goal, but I feel like it'll take a long time. But if you take a risk and you fall, and when you get back, as you get back, you're gonna learn lots of things and you're just gonna be a step ahead of where you used to be. And if you succeed, then you know what? That's great. So I feel like taking risks that are in your reach and when you're really prepared and you let the people you know, you love know so they can be there for you. Um, yes, risks within your reach are definitely worth taking in my opinion. Okay, that is the end of the 10 questions I had for today. Some of the questions just felt like, instead of Q&A, just felt like I was giving life advice which I don't mind, but hopefully next time it'll be just more of a simple Q&A, fun questions from you guys. So I'm counting on you guys for some fun questions. And I will see you next time with the members, hopefully. See ya. Ah! Chincha! Ah!